In this video, we're going to talk about the Paste to Selected Page feature for the XAR Web Designer 365 Premium software. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you want to do is open your page and layer gallery and go ahead and pin that by clicking on the thumbtack key. And then we're going to go ahead and go to our toolbar and we're going to create some elements to place in our workspace. So in this case, I'm going to select the rectangle tool and draw that object in our workspace. And then I'm going to select the text tool and I'm going to draw a text area by left clicking and dragging and then hitting control shift L to paste some filler text into our workspace. So now that you have some text in an object in your workspace, let's go ahead and select the selection tool and then let's go ahead and go to our page and layer gallery and we're going to click on the new page key. So if you click on that, it'll create multiple pages as you click it each time. In this case, I'm going to create seven pages and then I'm going to go back to the index page. Now on this page, we're going to left click and drag over both of these objects, hit control C to copy it. And then we're going to show you how the paste to selected pages feature works. So for example, let's say that I wanted to paste these objects on different pages within our website. We need to go to the page and layer gallery and select the pages that we want to paste it to. So for example, if I wanted to paste it to page three, I would left click on page three. And then if I wanted to paste it to other pages in addition to just that page, I would hold down the control key. So let's select page five and page seven. Now we haven't actually pasted the content yet. I'm just simply selecting the pages that I know that I want to apply these objects to. And if we hit control V, you'll see that when we look in our page and layer gallery now, it has it on page three, page five, and page seven. But if we go back to our index page, you'll notice that the objects are at the top of our page rather than in the center of our page. And that's because we use the control V function, which is just for pasting. But what if we wanted to paste that object in the exact same positioning on all those pages? Let's go ahead and hit control Z to undo our changes. And once we undo that, if we select page three, hold down the control key, and select page five and page seven, and then hit control shift V, it's going to now paste that object or those objects in the same exact positioning on all pages. So if we go to page seven, which we're already on, page five, page three, or even page one, you'll see that it's in the exact same positioning for all those pages. Let's go ahead and hit control Z to undo those changes. And let's say that we wanted to apply these objects to all the pages except for page seven. So let's select page two and then go all the way down to page six, hold down the shift key and click on page six and you'll see that it selects all those pages. And you'll know that because on each of those pages it has the blue background behind it. And if we hit control shift V, you'll see that it pastes it on all those pages. So there's one other important thing I do wanna mention before I finish out this tutorial and that's this. When you're using the paste to selected pages feature, Keep in mind that the changes that you make on one of the pages does not reflect on all the other pages. In other words, the attributes for each of these objects are separate for each page. In other words, let's say for example, I clicked on page two and I move this object to the right. It will only make that change for page two. All the other pages we see in our, our page and layer gallery, all the objects remain in the same exact position. In other words, their attributes are each separate for each individual object on each page. In other words, it will not update the other pages. And this is a very different feature than the repeat on all pages feature. If you've ever seen the video where we talked about, you know, when you make a change on one page, it reflects on all the pages, okay? So keep that in mind when using this feature and basically make your decisions based on that knowledge or information. So I hope that this video was helpful. And if it was, don't forget to embed, comment, share, and subscribe, and stay tuned for future videos. If you're currently not a part of our Patreon page, please make sure you check that out. Any support that you give us will help us improve the quality of our YouTube channel as well as the frequency at which we release new videos. And in addition to that, you'll have access to exclusive videos as a Patreon supporter that won't be available to regular YouTube viewers. And also you'll have some say so in the direction that we take this channel.